Hello friends, in this video I am going to show you how to download and install the latest version of Android Studio on Macbook and I am also going to show you how to create and run your first Android project. So first of all to download the Android Studio open browser search for download Android Studio. Now click on this first link here you can see the download link for the latest Android Studio version. The current latest version is Hedgehog. On clicking this read release notes, you can see the list of features, changes or known issues included in this Hedgehog release version. Come back, click on this download Android Studio button, come down, select the checkbox for terms and conditions. Here you can see two options for installable, Mac with Intel chip, Mac with Apple chip. To decide which one to download, go to this Apple icon, click on about this Mac option. Here you can see the chip type, Apple M1. So I am going to download Mac with Apple chip file. If your Mac is with Intel chip, then download the Mac with Intel chip file. Let's wait for the file download. So download completed. Go to downloads folder. Double click on this .dmg file. Here, drag the Android Studio into the Applications folder. Now to open the Android Studio, go to Launchpad and click on this Android Studio app. Or go to Applications folder directly and click on this Android Studio app. Android Studio is an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Click on Open. Here select do not import settings and click on OK. Help improve Android Studio, don't send. This is the Android Studio setup wizard. Click next. If you can customize the installation settings then select the custom option or else select standard option which is recommended for most users and click next. So these are the components it is going to download for the first time. Ok click next. Here accept the terms and conditions to install all these Android SDK components as well as Android SDK system images to run the emulator. Now click finish. Let's wait here. It takes time to download and install all those listed components. Ok installation completed. Click on finish. This is the Android Studio welcome page. Either you create a new project or open any existing Android Studio project. To create your first Android project, click on this plus icon. These are the templates that you can select to start with your first Android project. Here if you select the empty project, you don't have language option to select between Java and Kotlin. By default it takes as a Kotlin project. But for other templates, you get option to select your coding language. If you want the project in Java, then select any of these templates, change the language to Java and build configuration to Groovy DSL. Now set the project name. If you want, you can change the package name also. This project is saved by default in Android Studio projects folder. If you want to change the project location path, then select from here. Next minimum SDK. This is the minimum SDK version that your app wants to support. To decide from which API version you want to support, you can check the supported devices percentage here. On selecting API 28, that is Android 9, your app can be installed on 86.4% devices. If you select API 30, Android 11, then your app can run only on 59.8% devices means you are going to lose half of the Android device users. So decide from which Android version you want to support and click on finish. Ok, Android Studio is creating the project. Here you can see the list of features and updates included in this Hedgehog version of Android Studio. Let's wait till it creates the project completely. Ok, done. Now let's run the project. 
This is the default virtual device that is emulator that the project has created. If you want to create another virtual device with different API version, then go to this device manager on right side menu, click on this plus sign to create new virtual device. Here select the device definition based on the category, click next, select the release version to download the system images for the specific API that you wanted to run your app and create the device. Currently only emulator with API 34 was created. Now click on this run app button. The studio is building the project. First time it takes time to build the project but from the second time onwards it will be fast. Build successful in 28 seconds. Ok, now it is trying to install the app on the virtual device Pixel 3a API 34. Yes, installed successfully. This is the Hello World project created on selecting the empty views activity template. Now you can start updating your code based on your app requirements. Hope this video helped you to install the Android Studio on your MacBook and also to create your first Android project without any difficulties. If you like my explanation, please comment, like the video and subscribe to IRECA Tech Solutions. Thank you.